Oh, Hang on. Oh. It's okay, we're sliding again. Oh, no. More power, more power. More power, hang on. Oh, no, it's done. Oh, no. okay. friends, welcome to Flight Test. We have a crazy episode today because in just two days, we are gonna be building the largest foam plate probably ever made. We're teaming up with our good friend, Peter Schriepel here. He's gonna be coming out to Flight Fest and hopefully if everything works out good, we're gonna be building a 34 foot wingspan airplane to not only fly, but to also put in the combat. Now here's the fun thing. I got some files here. Peter got me the airfoils. We're gonna be heading upstairs to our hot wire foam cutting machines. We're gonna be cutting this out. Peter's on his way down right now. If everything works out good, we're gonna have all the pieces we need before he gets here. We'll be able to take him to Flight Fest, get a bunch of people building. This is gonna be epic. All right, so if you guys are new to flight tests, this is our upstairs mezzanine in the manufacturing building. This is where all of our big projects like Meglacy, our B-17, and now Peter's huge 34-foot foam airplane, it takes shape. And what we have here is two huge hot wire foam factory CNC cutting machines. This gives us the ability to do two axis and four axis CNC cutting and really build rapidly huge crazy models. Now, with Peter's design here, we have to get this done quickly and also we have a limited amount of foam. And along with that, it's also extremely hot, so we've been running all of our fans to keep this place nice and cool, keep the team comfy, and we've been popping a lot of circuit breakers. One thing we cannot afford right now with the amount of foam we have in the short time is to have it pop. So what I did is I brought my EcoFlow Pro up here, and we have this actually as a battery backup. So if anything goes down, this is instantly gonna kick into action and keep that cut coming. We also do that as a battery backup for our 3D prints. Now these things have not only become an amazing convenience, but also a way of life for us up at Flight Test. We can take these as we travel, we can take these as we camp, and also we're seeing a lot of our community members use these on a daily basis. Now here's a special thing, from July 4th through the 17th is Prime Day. You can get up to $900 off of select models and huge values like never seen before for your EcoFlows. And if you guys want more information about any of these EcoFlow products here that we absolutely love, go down in the description below and you'll find even more details. So what I'm gonna be doing here is I'm gonna be cutting out Peter's main pieces. This is a really cool design because it uses our one pound density EPS foam, but also uses our flight test foam board. I'm gonna cut the leading edges out and I'm gonna cut the ribs, slice them all together. And then hopefully in a very short amount of time, we're gonna have all the pieces ready for when Peter arrives so we can build this a flight test. Here he is, Toby. He works for Kisses. No, he's gonna be the test pilot. He's my lovely Dude, why did Toby get such an awesome underbite? <laughs> he was born with it. That's awesome! <laughs> <laughs> so it's real simple here. We're working on the elevator and the rudder, and, uh, and then we're ready to cut out, and then what else is there left? Uh, go get a bunch of uh, unwilling servants and make them work. I know, free labor. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're totally willing. What? They consent. Yeah, what's the fuselage going to be made of? Uh, probably that green styrofoam that you can get from Lowe's. Okay. Because it's like two inches thick, so it could be really durable. So. Yeah, I like and that. And plus, I don't want any wood in there in case it crashes, you know, so it just foam everywhere. I love it. So it'll still be safe. I love it. And what do you plan on powering off of? Uh, four monster motors. I think those would be enough. Let that sink in. Uh, 30, what's the wingspan? 32 feet, I believe. So 32 foot wingspan, four monster motors. It, it should be light. It should be probably around 40 pounds or even fly. Maybe I think it's going to be awesome. I love it. All right, so we're going to use uh, Dev Foam here. A lot of people have been asking what software we use. It's right here. It's called Dev Foam. Um, this is from Dev Fuse, Dev Foam. There's a whole bunch of devs. Uh, we'll leave it down at the bottom, but it is amazing software. Now, you can actually use a program to help you. <coughs> Bless you. You got to do it again. <coughs> you oh, can use this. <laughs> Wait, well. <laughs> <laughs> you remember this? I was always like, because I would do three. Yeah. Cut, cut. You can use their fuselage design software and everything, but what I've fallen in love with is Dev Foam uh, Pro 2, and it's worth every penny because you can do tapered things. All of the B17, the wings, the cells, everything were not done from the wing CAD format. It was just done from Dev Foam Pro 2. And uh, we're going to do two access for the elevator, and then we're going to do the four access for the rudder. All right, what do you think, Peter? I think you should do it again. Uh, no. In, in exercise of futility and just doing work twice. <laughs> no, it looks perfect. Let's go ahead and cut it. All right, let's cut it out. Oh. All right. Watch the road, watch the road. Look at no, we're vlogging. It's what we do. <laughs> Hi, Toby. <laughs> All right, so we're heading to manufacturing. We're going to cut out the tail and That's the rudder. To do. <laughs> <laughs> I can't vlog and drive. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, ready, Zach? Yep, yeah, let's go. Toby's full life is flashing before his eyes. Oh, this is gonna fly, it's kinda heavy. A little heavy? <laughs> a little bulky? A little bulky. So you wanna do the honors? This is your plane, man. Here. Yeah, I'm sliding around. Oh man, this is the elevator. Hold on, we gotta get the rest of the way down. <laughs> it's crazy how taking out that. Yeah, it's crazy. Massively reducing the weight. Yeah, there it is. A little better? Now it weighs like nothing. It kind of makes you freak out at first, though, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. <laughs> Crazy. Now, is that, do you think that's lighter than pink foam? Oh, yeah, much lighter. Oh, good, yeah. okay. I was worried because I was pushing this on you. I was like, oh, man, I don't want to, like... No, I, I, just, I just figured this is a lot more complicated. No, no. But it's, you make it look easy. It's super easy. And then we'll just put the three-quarter inch strips in there. Yeah, that and was then, perfect. And then you got some extra. Dang. You guys almost taken? We could have just made a straight rudder. That you know, rudder. probably we really could have just gotten away with that. <laughs> no, it's we not already, too late. <laughs> no, we already drew the rudder. Out. We're, we're committed. Okay. Or should be. All right, cool. On to the rudder. All right, friends. We have the wings cut out, the tails cut out. Everything is loaded and on its way now to Flight Fest along with Peter so we can start building this monster 34-foot airplane. Along with that, we're also getting ready for Flight Fest, and that means people from all over the country and even the world are going to be traveling to Little Malvern, Ohio to fly in fellowship with us. And speaking of traveling, internet protection is incredibly important, especially when you're looking up those favorite flight test build videos. And that's where our sponsor for today, NordVPN, comes in in a great way. Now, NordVPN is super easy to use with either a one-click or an auto-click setup, so you can get online quickly. And you don't have to worry about where you are because you have over 5,400 servers in 58 different countries that will ensure a great connection for you. And Nord can protect you up to six devices on every major platform. Windows, Android, iOS, Mac OS, and even Linux. And NordVPN wants to give back to you, our flight test community, in a big way. If you go to nordvpn.com slash flight test, you can get a two-year plan plus an extra 30 days at a huge savings. And it's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. Now, we got a big plan to build, and I do mean big. Let's get to it. I have arrived. <laughs> Welcome to the school of top build. I'm your instructor, an elite, elitist instructor of foam gluing this. The the soon to be world record holder yeah. for foam. foam the, lo world's largest foam RC airplane. Let's go with that. Because <laughs> I know there are bigger RC airplanes, but they're not foam and they're not built with the 100 kids and built in a matter of two days. So let's go for that. What's the thought about this list? It's hot. Oh, the plane? It's yeah. hot. It's gonna be hot. <laughs> <laughs> So Peter, how's it going? They're actually going really good. We're we got a record time. Like, look, the whole wing's like pretty much assembled. Last year it took us a whole day to do the whole wing. Yeah. We're already done, and it's only been like maybe two hours or something like that. the cause? <laughs> so much easier, less stress. Because this like this looks like it's gonna work great. So we're getting this rudder out here, and what we did, we wanted to keep this as light as possible to make sure that we didn't put too much tail weight on there because we're gonna try to keep this as light as possible. So we made two unique halves, and when you put those together, we have a full-size well, rudder that's insanely light. Yeah. These great folks right here are the well, reason that we have the hot wire foam cutter, cutter here. They're out here in this build tent, helping people out, learning about boat cutting, learning about EPS foam, how to work with it, and especially how to make it fly. It is day two of the airplane build. We've got half of the wing done, polyhedral. I've got these wood gusset plates put in. I hope these hold, because I didn't really quite think this section through with how to attach them together. So we're gluing these and clamping them. I'm hoping there's enough surface area here that the joint is strong. Should be, 
Well, there's only one way to find out. So this is really cool. Peter is almost ready to take this to fly for the first time. And we've been having a ton of brownouts here. And FR Sky stepped up in a huge way with some very new tech. What is this? Uh, this is our new Tandem X18. Tandem, what's that mean? Uh, so the big new feature of our two new radios, the X18 and X20, is built-in dual band for both our, uh, for both 2.4 gigahertz and 900 megahertz. Oh, wow. Um, so the system, the new Tandem receivers, we have three available, the MX, the R10, and the R18. But basically it can support up to triple redundancy for receivers. Okay, and that is huge. If you guys saw our B17, our Megla C, you'll notice that we have between three and six receivers and based on how we want that set up, and also to make sure that no matter what we lose, we can always fly the airplane. Even with the B17, we have a way to have redundancy within the tail because if you lose the whole tail, you lose the whole airplane. What they've done here is they have the ability now to build that into a beautiful interface, which makes it super clean and super reliable. And you guys are gonna help actually Peter get this installed in his airplane and get programmed. And we're gonna put it up and fly for the first time with their radio. It's about go time. We're right strapped the wings on. The receiver's all working, I think. And uh, the only thing left to do is just go fly it. See how this, this thing ends up. Predictions? It'll fly. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> for at least a second of it, yeah. right? <laughs> nice. So that, how are you feeling? Oh, I'm excited, man. It's awesome to see this go from a hot wire cutter to a tent and ultimately on the uh, on the back of our favorite launch vehicle, side by side, filled with a bunch of dupes. Uh, right now, Peter's trimming this up here. Everything works good here. This is gonna be basically like a three channel motor glider. Uh, just because it's huge doesn't mean it has to be hard to fly. Peter made a great design here, real simple, real fun. And uh, if everything works, he's gonna put it in combat. This is deja vu all over again. It's just like last year. No, I'm excited to get this over with. I don't know, what do you think? Do we need to start making some noise? You got her, Pete. You got her, dude. We're trying to go for it. Our number one priority is just keep it out of the crowd. Yeah, I told him to angle towards the soybeans. Is that okay? That's great, yeah. So yeah, keep it angled towards the soybeans. Yep. That's your camera, yep. there, right? <laughs> you ready? Let's go. Here we go, baby. Come on. It's so flushy. You had enough power like you just hovered like you. It probably could just keep hovering, but yeah, just a little more nose weight and we should be good. How's your wing looking? It looks great. It's, it's a little, little saggy, but I think it should be okay. A little droopy dog going on. Oh, it's actually kind of really droopy. I'm about yeah. to check that bar. Can we lift it up by that? Oh, yeah. Ooh, that sounds crunchy. Yeah, yeah we might need to repair that. Part okay, again. just a few moments when the field's clear. So Peter, what yeah. happened there? It's a little tail heavy. I didn't have enough down elevator to command it, so I just like, all right, we're gonna back up the power right before it comes down to the ground. I'll add a bunch of power and soften the landing. Landing. Yes, it's good. All right, so that was epic here. Uh, unfortunately, Peter's plane was a little bit tail heavy. We brought the wing back inside the hangar here, took a look at it, and it's a pretty simple fix here. There was a couple gusset plates that were just simply not holding on well enough, and it caused the wing to be able to break in the middle. No real damage, actually. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna run to a hardware store. We're gonna pick up some cap strips of aluminum. We're gonna then screw down on the top and on the bottom these two long crap strips. The aluminum will hold it both in compression and also expansion. And uh, that will hopefully give us the ability to uh, be able to get this up in one piece but what it looks like is once I get the center of gravity fixed this thing's gonna be like a motor player. How are you feeling? I'm feeling better. I mean this is probably like one of our last shots we got. I mean if we have an issue here we got one more chance to fix it and then it's combat. So I'm hoping this goes smoothly so I can charge the batteries so I can charge the batteries back up and they'll be good to go later on. So what's your guys' thoughts on this? Oh it's gonna be taken off within 50 yards. Easy. Yeah, it'll yeah, go. It, it'll it go. Off, it took off fine yeah. last time. Yeah. It just Let's needs a little extra. <laughs> Are you even doing anything back here? I'm holding the camera. He's holding the cooler down. Uh, we got the CG fixed. We moved the wing back and we put some aluminum in here to make it stronger. So now it shouldn't rack at all. 
So it's very, very strong now. Are you ready? Ready to go. Uh, this could be like a straight up radium. Oh yeah, it should be. It should just be a big floater. If this works good, this is like a go-to design. <laughs> yeah, it's, especially this airfoil wing design if you want to make something bigger. Because, you know, maybe we could do 50 feet next year. Why not 100 feet? I like I'm it. Actually, I'm joking, actually. 50 feet of this. You heard him say it. I mean, we got to hold him accountable. Just got to add more motors. All right, we are good. Yeah, good yeah. Ready Woo! Yep, ready to go. Let's do it. Come on, Peter. You got it this time, buddy. I can't believe how good it is. Go, Peter. Yep. Come on, baby. Fly. Fly, fly, fly. Yeah! yeah. You good? We're good, yeah. yeah. <laughs> look at that big couple. That's just four monster motors. Right, look at my throttle He's setting. I'm like half throttle. Half yeah. throttle is flying. <laughs> this is awesome. This is way better than last year. Oh yeah, much better. Look, I'm doing a turn and it's not it's not turning too much. Can you actually level out? I know. Uh, it's level out. All right, we're leveling out. So, leveling out. So we're nice good. thing if it's sketchy, what he can do is he can kick towards us and yeah. he can kick to the left if he has, but he doesn't have a problem with that. Oh, Hang on. Oh, it's okay, we're sliding in. More power. Hang on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah! yeah. 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 Sideways. <laughs> Maybe not. Well, the point. Yeah. A lot of nose in the front. yeah, it doesn't have a whole lot of airspeed either. Well, you know that. Looks like yep. you're a, a full throttle now. Yeah, I'm actually cramming up a throttle. I wonder what's going on. Something's getting hot and spicy. Maybe. You got right. a thermal. <laughs> yeah, you. Oh yeah, I'm just, it's just kind of floating around. <laughs> Come on, get back here. <laughs> nice show pass here. Yeah, oh, look at that sideways. Alright, we'll go and land on this pass so I can check it all out. <laughs> nice thing about this as the landing gear, he can just drop it in the soy Oh, piece. it said low yeah, warning yeah. something. Yeah. Saying, Peter, you are crazy. If he doesn't hit the oil, we're yep. good. I'm at full turning right now. Come on, turn. Oh, you got this. Come on, turn. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Turning slowly. Got it. I feel like Got the wind's it. affecting it a lot. Yeah, this is not a windy day flyer. There you wow. go. Ah, you can just level it out. Yeah, we're gonna level it out and bring it in. I'm gonna laugh because you guys probably throttle back. It's gonna go forever. All right, we're throttled back. There it is. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Look out, Dave! <laughs> Giddy! Giddy! <laughs> So, we can say that. Yeah. I think it's official. I think yeah. this is the largest foam plane ever built. Yep. Period. Especially, yeah, it's all foam. Well, for the most part, yeah. Largest foam airplane. I'll accept that title. Ever built. You know what? If you don't believe it, prove us wrong. Build your own. We'll see it. Yeah. I'll be rooting for you. Peter, great job, man. Friends, thanks for being part of the flight test. We'll see you next time. So it's pretty safe to say that I think we built the largest foam airplane in the world. 34 feet, it flew fantastic. Now this plane has one more major flight under its belt that it has to take, and that's gonna be for combat. Peter's gonna be taking this up tomorrow. He's gonna be put in the combat. So make sure you hit your subscribe bell, not only for flight tests here, but also go over to Peter Shreeple's channel because he's gonna be showcasing that combat. It's gonna be epic. And then also we're gonna be featuring that combat in our recap video coming up very soon.